Hey guys, welcome back to another Coin Snobs video. Finally got my hot little hands, well, choppy little hands. Uh, Canada Small Sense, 1989 through 2012. A couple of videos ago, we did the 1920 through 1988 fill. And, uh, not looking too shabby. Of course, that side's going to be a little scary, but, you know, that's okay. Now we've got all this to go through. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking that 1989 through 2012 is going to be probably mostly full. Obviously, because they're newer, they should be uh, more of them. But uh, it's not a very long run, 1989 through 2012. Uh, if I remember correctly, and uh, again, as usual, correct me if I'm wrong, 2012 is the last year that Canada struck the small sets. They have been eliminated. Oh no, I gotta fold. That's okay. Wow. Before doing this video, I had not gone through and looked at this. And it's uh, a lot more complicated than I expected, to be honest. Uh, wow. 2012 Royal Canadian Mint Steel. Royal Can Canadian Mint Zinc. Uh, zinc, steel, zinc, steel, zinc, steel. 2003 P uncrowned. 2003 uncrowned, uncrowned reverse. 2003 P diaderm. Wow, I have got a lot to learn. I don't even know what the heck a diaderm is. So, Tierra Averse. I kind of have an idea of what I'm looking at. It's sort of self-explanatory, but naturally the zinc and the steel is going to be a little bit more complicated. Since those are steel, I would assume the core is steel, so that means that it would be uh, magnetic, I guess? Uh, I don't know. You guys out there know a whole heck of a lot more about this than I do. I am willing to learn, but again, uh, the hard drive in my brain is pretty full, but I am trying to learn, I promise. Anyways, I'm going to go through all of these here and see if I can identify um, some of this stuff. And uh, I'll be right back. All right, guys and gals, I am pleased to announce that I have learned a little bit, just a little bit, a smidgen, about uh, Canadian coinage. And I am actually pretty impressed and I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued, I got to say. I am very intrigued by all of the... Uh, differences and, and possibilities that you can find in your pocket change um, from Canada. Uh, from what I learned, and again, if I'm wrong, correct me down in the comments and add anything to it that uh, that you folks out there know, because again, you guys are going to know a heck of a lot more about Canadian coinage than myself. I'm just an, an, I'm in an infancy level of, of Canadian coinage here. Anyways... Uh, pretty much everything is normal up until about 2002. In 2002, they had 2002 the regular and 2002 P. The P doesn't stand for any kind of a mint mark. P is actually plated. This is electroplated steel because, of course, uh, copper and zinc and all that fun stuff started to get pretty pricey right around that time period. Canada saw the crunch and decided to electroplate some steel cores. Um... The P would be right below uh, the bust of the queen herself, which actually here, I can see if I can show you one real fast. Let's see how close I can get it. You look directly below her, right down there on the bottom should be a P. Not for Philadelphia, but actually for plated. Kind of makes sense. 2004, 2004 P. I actually found a few of them that were plated. Uh, one question that I did have for you guys, though, that I, I wasn't sure, and again, I, I just started doing the research on this stuff. Uh, this one right here, uh, 2010, there's only one available, and it has to be the zinc. It, could that possibly be from, like, uh, maybe they only did mint sets in this year, and, and they weren't intended for circulation? Uh, I'll do some research on my own, of course, but I figured you guys would probably have the quick answer out there. Uh, 2011 Royal Canadian Mint Zinc. And then steel, this one here is steel. So I'm thinking maybe uh, they used the zinc ones uh, for mint sets or, or whatever they may have done back then. 
uh, I believe 2006, starting 2006. Yeah, starting 2006, I didn't have any of those in the stuff that we had found in Pocket Change and Coinstar and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, 2006, they stopped putting uh, the P on there. And after that, they just started putting the seal of the Royal Canadian Mint, which I'll show you on this one right here because it's all nice, bright, and shiny. So where there would be a P mint mark or no mint mark, now they have the seal of the Royal Canadian Mint. So I think that maybe at this time period, you would have to use a magnet, perhaps, to see if, uh, if this is steel or zinc, unless there is some kind of like a slight difference, slight variation uh, in the strike or slight variation in, in something that I can see on the outside. I'd imagine probably using a magnet is, is going to be the fastest way to find out. Let's check it using my patented Chihuahua magnet. Yep, that is very much steel. Okay. So I answered my own question on that one. Uh, 2009 steel. Of course, it, uh, let's see. Yep, very steel, very steel. And this one is supposed to be zinc. Huh, look at that. We're learning something new every day, steel. Would you look at that? I'm not dumb, just kind of slow. So that means this one here... Wow, like magic. Okay, so slowly figuring this stuff out. I'm sure most of you guys out there are probably laughing at me because you're probably sitting there thinking, oh man, you know, I could just, I could sense that that was steel. But I mean, again, you guys are a multitude of information out there. That's why I love it when you folks comment down below because uh, every day that we can learn something is a good day and, and it's very appreciated. Now, I'm going to go ahead and toss the gloves on or something and shove these guys in off of camera so you don't have to watch me suffer and destroy my thumb. I'll be right back. All right, all done. And I got to admit, uh, they went in like butter. And I'm pretty impressed. And I'm actually getting fairly intrigued by Canadian scents now. Uh, if you know, you know. I mean, yeah, that's crazy. Uh very fascinating 2003 p i did put uh anything that had the p mark on it i made sure to put uh a verse out so you can see the the uh the mint mark and then of course all the other ones just have the year behind them so like here we got the year showing i believe that would be considered the reverse and the obverse to show that it does have the p mark Giggity. but overall uh didn't fill it as much as I thought, but still not terrible. Not terrible at all. And I'm actually excited to find some more Canadian scents. These, are, of course, are just all extras uh, that we have here that I'll throw into a tube. And uh, yeah, this is actually pretty fascinating. If any of our Canadian viewers out there would like to trade rolls of scents, let me know, because uh, I would really like to go through rolls of Canadian scents. And uh, as you guys have seen, we have a lot of Lincoln scent rolls that we can send you guys, uh, bank wrapped rolls. That way you guys have something interesting to go through that you don't see every day. And we would have something to go through that we certainly don't see every day. I'm actually kind of hyped for this. Uh, but yeah, any information that you guys can think of, please go ahead and throw it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, as usual, best way to support the channel, totally free. Take the bell to get a notification every single time that we do upload a video. Throw this a thumbs up if you want to see some more of this. Of course, got grab bag video coming up uh, within the next couple of weeks because I know you love the grab bags and so do I. Pain and pleasure, apparently. Uh, anyways, yeah, till next time, guys. Love you all and uh, we'll see you soon, hopefully. Stay safe.